Having used my fair share of Android launchers, I always seem to keep coming back to this default one, which is going to be the Nova Launcher. For you though that don't understand what the Nova Launcher is, or what a launcher is in general, is actually just going to be an opportunity of changing your default home screen. So as you can see right here, this is kind of like the way I have mine set up. And what you do is you just go ahead and go to the Google Play Store and you can download it and just type in launcher and you'll find plenty of them. Uh, the Nova Launcher is a free to download, but of course there's an in-app uh, purchase for premium features. But what I want to go ahead and show you is just some quick little tips for using this launcher and why it actually brings me back to it every time. Uh, in a previous video, I have shown that Greenify uh, is a great application for, you know, force closing applications that are running in the background. Uh, then I've also shown that you can enable it right there. So as you saw, my little button at the very bottom pops up and that is just actually me swiping my thumb across it on the, uh, from the bottom to the top. And that actually has it, so I set it so the Greenify will go ahead and work in the background. So if I just go ahead and touch and hold that home button, you can see the edit button pops up, and then that's where I can change my swipe now motion. Now coming over to my inbox, you can see if I come over here and edit that as well, I can also change that swipe. And these are the different types of features of doing it. Some great little options of doing it, you can see these jump to page. Uh, what I like to do, what I've done in the past is actually on one screen I'll have applications, but instead of putting all my applications, so let's say for social medias, uh, I'll just put one application for social media right here. So let's just say on this screen I had a Twitter app and it was just sitting right here on the home screen. If I touched it, it would open up my Twitter, but then if I swiped it, it would take me to the page that had all my other social media accounts, which made it really, really nice. And I do that all for all sorts of things. So another good example would be, let's say we put this into here and we touch that and that's the two things. But let's say we always use Hangouts more than we use phone. So why don't we touch and hold that, edit that, swipe action, go to apps, go down to Hangouts, done. And now it will swipe up and change my Hangouts. But I'm actually not going to show you that purely because I'll just show you the app that uh, because I don't want to show you people's phone numbers but if I just swipe up right now you'll see that the AP should now pop up right away there we go so that's a really really nice little feature another quick and easy feature is if you're inside of this uh, app drawer uh, let's say you have a thousand apps for example and you're trying to look for a specific one you don't want to scroll through them all oops uh, you're gonna notice that there's no search bar anywhere well, actually there is, it's just hidden. So if I actually swipe anywhere in the app drawer and I swipe down, you're gonna see the little search icon pops up and from there you can type in what you're doing. And that's all I really wanted to show for this video, just a quick and easy little heads up, things you can do, little neat little features for it. But if you do have any other features that you wanna go ahead and see featured, go ahead 